through the trees, but I wanted to show you guys. This is not filtered, edited, or doctored in any way. Look at the colors on this. Uh, all right, I'll just turn it down a little bit. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? So gorgeous. Mm. Chuck's getting the bear food. The bear food. <laughs> the bear line down. <laughs> Sorry, I literally just woke up. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. And I don't know who left this <laughs> grow grate here at the campsite like a mile before the ruins on the far out app, but um, thank you. It's convenient. Actually proving to be quite useful. Um, so that's nice. Ooh, a little windy. Yeah, they have this like whole setup here. This is quite convenient, I'm not gonna lie. Chili? Can you see some coffee? So, a quick six ish. Right? Six, mile, six miles into Damascus today. Oh, yep. So, it's like six something right now. So, we'll get into town pretty early. <laughs> and depending on how leisurely we take this morning, but I think we're ready and motivated to get to town and get our errands done so we can enjoy the evening. Thank you. I am not starting cold this morning. I am starting. Sweaty. No, I'm not starting sweaty. I'm starting. Betty. <laughs> Sweaty, stubborn Betty. I'm not in my melly. This lets air pass through it. So when I send my melly home, I'm gonna keep this, and it's gonna transition from my sleep shirt to just like a to something that can act as a mid layer if I wanted to. It's not quite like a senshi. Uh, this is the Mountain Hardware Air Mesh shirt, but it, you can see it's kind of like the Alpha Direct material, but not quite. Um, people compared it to that on Reddit. Um, I wanted to get a Senshi, I just never laid my hands on one, so I just didn't know how it would feel, and this was, like, easy to get at REI. And this is a great active layer, it lets air pass through, it's, like, really good. Um, so I'm gonna start in that this morning, because it's a little windy, and it's cold. Talk to you in ten minutes. <laughs> he loves to give me grief no, about it. it's mostly downhill, you might not get hot. <laughs> it's only six miles, I'm gonna keep this on for the whole six miles, no matter how hot I am, just out of... Sure, <laughs> I'm just gonna get there so I can prove a point. No. Yeah, we're just uh, thinking about like winter gear and like what we're sending home and stuff like that. So exciting to think about dropping some of this weight. I love my Melly, but it is not the greatest hiking layer, honestly. Um, there's only been a handful of days where I stayed in it for more than 30 minutes. It's just so warm and it doesn't really breathe all that well. So probably gonna be one of the first things I get rid of once it warms up enough. Ready? No. You're starting so cold. Because I'm old. Okay. And I'm old. Nice hair. <laughs> you taking your pants off? <sighs> All right. Okay. I make it. No, well, that's how you end up on a list. That's how you end up what? Right? On a list. There is hike naked day. I don't remember what day it is, but there's a hike naked day. So there was a tree last night that just sounded like it was just threatening to fall all night. It was just like, yeah, like just snap, like just in the wind. I was like, just do it. Just do it so I can go to sleep. That wind picked up last night. I was like, that tree's gonna fall. I don't know where it is, but it never fell. It never fell. Close enough to hear. Close enough to hear, but like far enough away to know that it wasn't gonna land on our tent. So I was like, just break, <laughs> do it. It ended. <laughs> We're about to roll out. God, I feel so comfortable. You feel so comfortable. That's good. Just... It's about 10 to 8. Quick six miles into Damascus, like I said. Just past some of our friends. Um, a family hiking with their pup and their kiddo. Um, so they're going to be at the same place as us tonight. We're in a nice little bubble. I feel like everybody on our bubbles has been super cool. Oh, and uh, Half and Half is supposed to be in Damascus tonight. Or today. Oh, yeah. That's right. So we're going to throw some tunes in our ear and bust out this quick six and then get into town. In time for lunch. Yeah. Ooh. Windy. Windy on this hike this morning. I feel like I gotta yell. Uh, it's mostly downhill, so I haven't warmed up yet. I'm glad I have my shirt on. <laughs> now, got some tunes in the ear. Today's playlist is uh, 
90s country. I cast a pretty wide net musically, but I'm an 80s baby, so I think 90s country is the only country that matters, and I will die on this hill. Uh, I was raised on it, but because of my proximity growing up to New Orleans, I was also raised on juvenile big timers and uh, Lil Wayne, so yeah. <laughs> Those, those playlists are for another day. But, yeah, we got Reba going right now. To know backwards a little lawyer. <sighs> Cruising, though. Trying to get through these quick miles. You warm back there? What'd you say? I said you warm back there? I'm fine. I'm good. <laughs> warm from warm by my for the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> so I don't want to give life to anything like a troll says to me on the internet, but we had an encounter on Facebook. I asked a very valid question and got chastised for it. And I'm going to put my pedicap on for a moment just because when you insult me and tell me something as specific as, quote, you don't know what you're doing. You have no business on trail and you'll quit before Virginia. Well, allow me to be petty for a moment. And just give a little shout out to that guy um, because we very much made it to Virginia. And Booski, this state crossing is for you. And Chuck's got his border beer. Let me get my hand out of the way. Ready to go? Mountain, the mountain. These mountains are blue. Cheers. Cheers to Virginia. Back. We did it. That was a uh, freebie from Boots Off. It was left over in the fridge. It, it's uh, it's Coors Light. 8:48 a.m. 8:48 a.m. It's five o'clock somewhere. Can't drink all day if you don't stop. <laughs> cheers. cheers. Cheers to getting to Virginia, and Ooh. not cheers to that troll on Facebook. Fourth state. Fourth state. <laughs> so as we're dipping down into Damascus, I almost stepped on a little garter snake. Scared me. And he scurried off, but we're coming into a lot of uh, poison ivy. And I'm, I wish I were a little bit better at identifying them. I know the whole leads of three, leave them be thing, but um, I just took a picture of it and saved it under the favorites in my phone. This is one thing I don't want to have to deal with when we're out here. Uh, I never had it uh, growing up, and which is crazy because I lived in the woods uh, when I was a kid. But I never had poison ivy, oak, sumac, none of that. So, trying to keep it that way. Uh, we should be getting here into Damascus very soon, which is exciting. It's only almost it's 10 to 10. Uh, the terrain has been amazing coming into Virginia. <laughs> and we were talking about, I'm like, could we have done 26.2 yesterday on this terrain? Probably, but it'd have been a long day. I'm not, I've got a little FOMO from not doing it, but then I'm like, eh, not really. <laughs> but I am thinking about second breakfast. Yeah, Chuck just said. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it back. Okay. Chuck's okay. doing some plant identification. Honesty is what that's called. Yeah, here you go. Oh. Thank you for the tunes. Mm -hmm. So, coming into civilization here. Man, the ta trail just literally just spits you out, like right in someone's backyard. <laughs> Which is kind of cool, honestly. Alright, find the blaze. Oh, there's, there they go. Yep, right in front of us. There it is.
Gonna stop and get some food. Oh yeah, let's get it. Look at this little baby. Oh my God. You're so sweet, hi. Hello. Oh, cutie. So we just did the Damascus Diner. <clears throat> And I didn't even have time to show you the food because it was just straight into my face. We put it away. Put it away. It was we really good. Work. Yeah. Lots of nice options for breakfast. <laughs> we're going to probably be back for lunch. Yep. <laughs> Chuck got a little coffee to go. Now we're going to go scoot down to the outfitter real quick and see what we can find. Oh, excuse me. I am so full. Whew. I'm going to walk it off. Walk off breakfast. Make room for lunch. Little mural. There's murals everywhere here in Damas yeah. Damascus. Hello. Hello. Coffee. How are the leggies after your big day? Yeah, feel great after some vitamin I. But yeah, right. <laughs> like I said, dude, you told me exactly what to look for. Yeah, right. <laughs> Don't be pissed because I'm getting more mm -hmm. than you are. That's all you gotta do is know. That's the when I when we pull up on a spot, I look for food. So continuing to explore the town of Damascus on foot. Uh, this is where we're staying at the Dancing Bear Inn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very clean, very pleasant. Um, we tried to get a room at Broken Fiddle, but I think they have like a ah, private room. So, and it was taken. But Dancing Bear is literally right in town. Uh, not that Damascus is particularly large, but it is so close to everything. The diner, outfitter all the things you would need except for the dollar general the family dollar i think that's pretty far but they have a bike for you if you need to use it so but we're gonna go back to the outfitter i'm gonna see if i can find some shorts i'm not too hopeful but i'm gonna try Ooh, main street coffee and cream you know you want coffee yeah what of it do you want to go get some sure you want some? um yeah i'll do coffee What? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Boop. Get in there. Oh yeah, the leggies are out. <laughs> We got some shorts. Very excited. I'm sure they're gonna ride up on me and I'm gonna have to put Casey tape on my thighs. Cause even though I've lost weight, the thighs are still a little thick. I'm just short, man. I'm very compact. So it's easy for shorts to ride up on me and for me to get the, the chaff, the chaff. But Chuck has, he's part of the Cool Kid Club now with the Dyneema fanny. Yeah. <laughs> On the side. So we're gonna go drop off the scrub pants because I don't want these anywhere. They're... All the loader clothes are like triple XL, so <laughs> they always like fall off of you. Losing weight out here like crazy. So, all right, getting some things done today. So we had a quite a haul from the Damascus Outfitter. Wait, let me make sure I'm saying the right one. Yes, Damascus Outfitters. We got so many goodies, man. Oh, this place was great. So they have Element, which is my favorite um, electrolyte replacement. So I was stoked to find those in store because usually uh, I feel like I've only seen them on Amazon. And I know all the ultra lighters are cringing, but I hate the Thermores pump sack and I wanted to get a pump. And I thought these flex tails were only purchasable online. So they actually had these in store and it's rechargeable, the battery, so I am completely amped because my one of my cam chores is blowing up the pads and the Thermarest pump sack is just, honestly, it sucks. Um, it's served us better on trail as a laundry bag than it has a pump sack, so super amped for this. We got a bunch of Peak Meals because those are the best. Chuck's got some, let's just dump this whole puppy out here. Chuck got a fresh pair of Njinjis because his Njinjis have already got a hole in them. Some more hand sanitizer. So how many months are you into it so far? Uh, 
Uh, just over one month. What are we, or, well, I guess, no, this is like, this would be day four. Those get that on the wall. The big AT symbol. Mm. And documenting that I am eating a vegetable. Wow. <laughs> Side quest completed. Dinner done. Um, we were helped out so graciously by another kind stranger for uh, Chuck to get his fingerprints done for his new job. So that has been taken care of and that saved us a massive logistical nightmare. Um, so that was cool. Just ran into Dusty D on the way back to his hostel and we're walking back to the B&B. Gonna just chill. Um, nice relaxing day here in Damascus, our little Nero into town. It's gonna, I know, it's gonna be excited to come back mm -hmm. for trail days. Gonna get some breakfast probably again at the diner in the morning. And then get right back at it. We uh, got our resupply done, or Chuck did rather. He uh, took the bike, sorry, I'm like burping on you guys. I'm so sorry, I just ate. Uh, he took the bike into town. It was only room for one, so I got I stayed behind and he made the grocery bill. But yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's, I am, I am, it's, I have been yawning like crazy. <laughs> I am so tired. It's crazy, man, as soon as that sun goes down. As soon down. as that sun goes down, it's, it's time, it's on. So that being said, Good evening. I'll see you on the